okay well it's there anyway but you can't see it as good it's too little now i just had a thought i'd wrapped it up and i thought no no i gotta come back because i just remembered something that i over the course of the four weeks that i've been away had come up and i thought oh this is so important um i have a friend right and it seems for me friendship is about sharing experiences right because we're here to have experiences so that's all my intention is ever about all these books i'm just sharing my experiences past, that's my whole life story your past is a gift my experiences up to date um this one was a download so it's kind of some of my experiences are in there but it's really more for you than really about my experiences and this one this is just some beautiful meditations that were downloaded as well uh, to give to you but uh you know, friendship to me is about sharing experiences, you know, of what's going on in your lives, having someone that you can communicate with that understands, you know, what uh, the level that you're on, you know, because I'd gotten to a level where I found vibrationally, it was getting hard to talk to other people because they weren't going to understand what I was going through at the time. And it's um, actually all, I've nearly finished the fourth book at the moment. And, um, most of the experiences are in there. But for other people not going through the same experiences, they kind of think of you like, oh, what's going on? So I have a friend, you know, I have friends. You know, I have another friend in South Australia that's amazing as well. And, um, and I, you know, I talk to him all the time and he understands. We're just sharing experiences, right? Of what we're going through as we, you know, um, become walk into more awareness and more consciousness, you know, in this world. And so your friendships kind of change if the ones you have can't keep up with <laughs> your level of crazy, I guess, if that's what you want to call it. And anyway, this friend, I would share my experiences and every so often she would throw a text back at me like, I don't need you to heal me. And I was like, but I didn't say anything that had anything to do with that. Like, I couldn't understand why I kept getting that message, you know. It was almost like, go away, I can do this myself, you know. And a few times she said that to me. Not the go away, but I can do this myself. I can heal myself. She said that quite a few times. And then, um, and I thought, oh, this, this relationship isn't on the same. We're not just friends sharing experiences. She's taking, she's analyzing everything I'm saying. Like, I'm trying to fix her or do something and it had nothing to I never have that intention you know um like here talking to you it's not my intention to fix you and it's not my intention to heal anyone heal anyone um I'm just sharing my experiences and if in the experiences there's a seed that gets planted for you that can help you open you know or can create a space in you to remember the beautiful love that you are then great and if not wonderful you can just enjoy listening to my experiences you know but I don't have any expectations I don't share the experiences with any expectation you know of people saying oh I'm completely healed because of what you shared or I'm completely whatever you know <laughs> it's not for that um, I share them because I went through a lot of pain through my adult years, you know, feeling alone, feeling separate, feeling all the things that so many people feel. And once you come out of that, in the sharing, sometimes it helps other people come out of that as well, so that you can live from a different perspective, you know? Um, if you choose to do that, you know, if any of this resonates with you and helps you out of that and into a new way of being, then so be it. But if it doesn't, there's no right way or wrong way to do this, right? And because we're just here for the experience. So whether you wake up or you don't, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Maybe you weren't meant to wake up and it's fine, you know? And when we say wake up, it's about realizing what's important. You know, that all this other stuff that we've been chasing for so long is not what we're here for. You know, the love 
that we are, the love that we're meant to be. That's what we're here for. We're meant to come back to that love that we started out as. You know, that's the coming home. Anyway, but I stopped talking to that friend because she was so hung up on, I am not meant to heal her. She was so hung up on that, that I just couldn't communicate to her anymore because I kept thinking, oh, if I say this, she's going to think it's got something to do with, and if I say that, and I just found it so awkward to talk to her because I was constantly analyzing, well, how she, you know, it was just too hard in the end. I just, I can't do this anymore. And one day I woke up, right, and I thought to myself, if my intention is to heal, right, if that is my intention, I wake up and I say to the universe, okay, universe, please, I intend to heal now. I don't want to feel any more pain. I don't want to have any more past emotional trauma, pain, you know, all of that. I want to heal. I want to be free of it all, right? And if that is my intention, does it matter how it comes? Does it matter if it comes from another person? Does it matter if it comes from doing a course? Does it matter if it comes from my goldfish? Do you know what I mean? From just looking at my goldfish swimming around the bowl, all of a sudden I have a light bulb moment and I'm healed. <laughs> of all my childhood trauma. Healed, I'm awake, I realize, oh, I am the love, I get it, right, and I am part of this beautiful life force energy. I am it, I am in it, and everything is in it. Oh, it is in everything, both ways. But yeah, just thought, if you're, <laughs> it was just so funny. If your intention is, I want abundance, I want to be wealthy, does it matter how it comes? Does it matter if it comes in the form of the job that you're doing now or if it comes as a check from the lotto or if it comes from whatever, you know, from the lottery, because in other countries might be called lottery, or it comes from one of your parents die, you know, your parents die and you get an inheritance. That's all money coming in. If that's your intention, does it matter if a stranger gives you $10,000 on the street? Does it matter? Or, you know, we have all these expectations that it needs to be a certain way. We ask for something. We ask the universe, please send me this. This is my intention. This is what I want. And then we sit there and it could have sent us 10,000 ways to do that. But it's not what we were expecting. So we just dismiss them. No, 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 no. It's not, not, not how I want it. And there's the problem. You know, if your intention is something, then just set the intention and just let it be. Let it come however it comes. Why does it have to be a certain way? Why do you have to do it yourself? Why does it have to come from an aha moment of you sitting there and all of a sudden, ah, oh, I'm healed. What does it matter? You know, humans heal humans all the time. Humans heal human hearts. All the time, broken hearts are healed by other humans that show love and compassion. Because we're all part of the life force energy. We're all part of the same. So what does it matter where it comes from? Whether it comes from you, why do you have to be the one that does all the work? Why can't it just be gifted to you from everything around you all the time? I found that really funny because I thought here we are all this time all these conversations and okay and like we had really in a year that we'd been talking to each other we'd come a long way from the first conversations we used to have a really long way we had really evolved a lot in that one year and I think it was from so many of the conversations that we had and it goes both ways I can't say oh, I healed her but I was also healed in many things by conversations I had with her. Things that she said that I would just never have thought of. Or that it didn't occur to me. I wasn't looking at it that way. She was looking at it from somewhere completely different. You know? Wisdom. 
if my intention is to gain wisdom, does it matter how it comes? Do I have to sit under a tree and like pray, 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 and all of a sudden an angel will talk to me and that's how you get wisdom? Or does it matter if I get it from my neighbor or from, you know, the cashier at the next shop I go to? Oh, you know, once I was having trouble with my leg. I don't know if I told you, one of my, my right leg decided it wasn't working. And I went up to the news agency to buy a birthday card. And as I'm talking to the lady that's, you know, selling me the card, I said to her, I know her because I used to teach her son piano a long, long time ago. And so I said to her, oh, what do you do? Because you always look so good and you never look sick, I said to her. And she said, I do yoga every morning. And it's funny because for days I had the word yoga in my head. And as soon as she said it, I thought, that's a sign. I need to start doing that. And that has improved the leg. So, you know, it, it doesn't matter where the message comes from, where the information comes from, where the download comes from, because we're all connected to the same thing. We're all connected to the same thing, to the same energy. So it doesn't matter. It doesn't need to look a certain way. However it comes, be grateful that it came because you asked for it my darlings i love you <laughs> have a good day remember to click like and subscribe below so you don't miss any of the messages and i'll see you in the next video bye